Hello, this is Pawan and I welcome you once again to my YouTube channel. I'd like to wish all my viewers a very warm and happy 2014 and I'd like to start the new year with a short and simple uh, guitar chords lesson on the song Barish from the film Yaria. I will be showing you both bar chords and open chords and I will be strumming along with the backing track. I'll speak a little bit about the strumming pattern which is fairly straightforward and I've shown that in several of my lessons before. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson and a very very happy new year once again to all of you. So now let's check out the chords for the song. The song is in the key of uh, G minor and I'll show you both in bar chords and open chords. So if you're playing bar chords, we will be playing G minor over here. We'll be playing F major here. We'll be needing E flat major. You could play it as a bar over here, but I'll be playing it over here. It's just much easier to move from here to here to here. You would also need C minor. Uh, you would need D minor. Interestingly, the song also has C major and D7, which we'll be playing over here. You could also play it over here. And for a short moment, we'll be playing a diminished seventh chord over here. Uh, as you know, a diminished seventh chord has four notes and it could be called out uh, by any of those notes. So you could call this as a E flat diminished seventh or a uh, A diminished seventh and so on. And if you're not comfortable playing this chord, you could substitute that with the D seventh chord where I've played it in the song. And if you want to play open chords, you can use a device called a capo here on the third fret and basically play in the key of E minor. Uh, by placing this capo here on the third fret, this becomes G minor. So you'd be playing E minor instead of G minor. You would be playing D major instead of F major, uh, C major instead of E flat major, A minor, B minor. Uh, we'll be playing here only on the first four strings. If you can play a full bar, uh, that would be nice. You would also need to know A major and you would need to know B7, which you'll be playing over here. That is just the fifth, fourth, third and second strings. We're muting the first and sixth strings. You could also play the first string. The strumming uh, pattern is fairly straightforward. Uh, I have shown this in several songs. Uh, uh, the most recent lesson was in the song Challa and it is uh, going to sound something like this. This is actually a 16 beat pattern. If you want more detail, you can check out some of my other lessons in which I have shown this in a lot more detail. Uh, but for this lesson, I'll keep it very simple. It's down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, 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 down. And for the first two downs, if you could play them on the bass strings, it'll sound nicer. So, down, 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 up, 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 down. So I'll play that slowly. Thank you. 
So thank you once again for watching my lesson. I look forward to your comments and feedback and I'll see you soon again.